I'm Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans, and I have some new planners to unbox with you. This is the Sterling Inc. B6 Common Planners. I got both the whole year and the half year. I have seen a lot of people posting pictures of the packaging, so I know that it's beautiful once we get inside. So it is securely bubble wrapped, which is very nice. And here we are. So we have two beautiful boxes. Here they are with a little pull out tab. And then very beautifully folded tissue paper covered planner. I almost don't want to open it. <laughs> All right, so let me fold back the first flap. So this is the full ear and I got it in the black. And I will flip through the whole planner here after a minute. So here is the half year. It comes in the same box, the same beautiful tissue paper. And I wanted to show you the difference. So for the half year, I got the mauve and the texture is very different on these. I don't remember the exact wording, but I think she called this one a leatherette and it does, it's nice and smooth like leather. And then this one I think was linen. It has more of a texture. So you can't do like a mauve linen or a black leatherette. It's either or, you have two options and you can get both the half year and the full year in either cover. If you are familiar with Hobonichi, they do an avec, and so this is kind of her avec. So half of the year, January through June, and then July to December. It says part one and part two. It does not give the specific months, but that's how it's broken up. First, we are going to walk through the full year. So you have your year to glance single page with no previous year or upcoming year. So you have all of 2023. And the only coloring and shading I see is on the week numbers. So the 23rd week is June 5th to the 11th. Then you have a blank two page spread with only grid. And then you have some goal breakdowns. You have quarter pages here, so with priorities, and then Q1, you have two layouts here. And then I assume all four quarters are the same. And then you get into your monthlies. Your monthlies start at December. And then go through, I assume, the end of 2023. Yeah, uh, you actually do also get January of 2024. So for the 2023 planner, she included an extra month on both sides. So that's nice. And then we get into the weeklies. And in the weekly spread, we have a very minimalist timeline. You have 6 a.m. to midnight. Each grid is half an hour. You have a little mini calendar and then just a little bit of information about the week. So this is technically week 52 of 2022 because January is on Sunday, so then we have week one of 2023 is actually January 2nd to the 8th. And then you have just a little spot for a tab on the side if you kind of flip through, I guess, let me see where they start. You can see where the tabs are for your months, but because of the gold edge, you can't see that when it's closed. You have to kind of flip to be able to see which month you're at. So of course, all 52, well technically 53 weekly spreads, and then you get into the daily pages, except they're not dated, it's very nice. It is a blank grid only, very fine light grid, and they are numbered. So this page here is not numbered. I guess you could, if you are using an index or something, you could call this page zero if you want to go ahead and start using this page. The only thing that I see in addition to the light grid is the tiniest little dot at the top and the bottom, and that is just in case you want to make a line down the half of your page, 
you can do so. Same thing for the sides. So if you want to divide it in half, she has little dots there that will make it easier for you to do so. And then in this whole year, you do have 369 and actually 370 because of that page zero blank pages in the back. So plenty, even extra daily pages for you. Of course, you could use this like a bullet journal or lots of different things. I think it's a really great option for those of you who love the Hobonichi planners. It's a very similar layout as far as the minimalist approach. We have yearly and then monthly and then weekly pages. And I know a lot of people have been asking for a B6 Hobonichi, so she kind of filled that void for you. So the half year, I assume, is going to be exactly the same. You will only just get your first two quarters at the beginning, and then it jumps right into December. And then you have through July. So that was one of the things I was unsure of. So she does give you an extra month, December and July. And then I assume in this one, you will get July again, and then January at the end, we will see. So you have Q3, Q4, and then yes, you get June, and then you get all the way to January. So that is great. So all planners, you get an extra month before and after. Then jumping into the weeklies is going to be the exact same as the other spreads and everything. It is just divided. Here you have the week of June 26th to July 2nd. And then you do have the exact same spread again in the second half. So you get to pick which week. You can either choose to plan out both weeks if you want, or you can just pick. If I were personally using this system, I would probably switch and use this week in the new planner just because I like to have all my months together. I might then go back and do some back planning. It just kind of depends, but it is a really great system. I know a lot of people are excited about it. I also know that a lot of you are going to ask, and yes, we are planning on making stickers for them. <laughs> I have not tested them. I only just opened up the planner, so um, we will be testing out stickers to see about adding it to our 2023 lineup, and we will get those released as soon as physically possible. So if you want to know more details about that, make sure you are either in the Facebook group or following me on Instagram. Let me know what you think of the Sterling Neat Comment Planner. I would love to know down in the comments, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.